I'm going to show you how you can scrape Apollo.io leads for completely free just by following along in my step-by-step -step tutorial. And in the end, I will show you how to export those leads, but also how to use it in an NA10 workflow. So uh, as you can see here, Apollo.io is probably the best lead database out there on the inter internet if you want to find leads. But as you can see from their pricing plans, uh, the basic plan is at $59 per month and you only get 5,000 leads or 5,000 emails for those $59. So instead of paying Apollo.io directly, you can actually come over to a site called appify.com, which is a site that hosts many different scrapers. So you can go uh, click on uh, sign up or whatever you have here if you are not signed up to Appify. And you will come over to the console. Uh, and in the console here, you will be able to search for different types of scrapers. So I will just click on the store on the left-hand side of the website here. And then you can search for Apollo and you will find the Apollo scraper, scrape up to 50K leads. And that is 50K leads per scrape. And as you see here, this is $1.20 for each 1,000 leads. Now, the reason I said for free is that with Appify, you actually get uh, $5, as you can see here down on the left hand side, for completely free each month, which means uh, $5 and $1.20 4,000 leads is basically 4,000 leads for free each month. Uh, so unless you're scraping more than that, you get Apollo leads for completely free. Now, so as you can see in here, we need this search URL uh, for the Apollo scrape when we want to scrape using Appify. So how you can do this is you can come over back over to Apollo.io. You can sign up for a free account. You don't need to pay anything. Sign up for the free account, and then you can will come over to a page which will look something like this. Now, in here, this is not an Apollo.io course, but in here, you can basically search for or uh, filter the different types of people you or leads you want to search for in Apollo. Uh, so for now, the email status, you can just set to catch all excluded. That's what I have done. And you can also exclude more than that. Uh, if you only want ver verified emails, that is something you can do. And for job titles, you want to add more than just a COO, but I will explain the reason why I only have COO for now, but you will want to add uh, th things like founder, owner, CEO, president, et cetera, et cetera, to find all the different uh, decision makers in the niche you are scraping leads for. And for location, I've set this to Miami, Florida. You obviously want to set the location to where you want to scrape your leads. Same goes for industry and keywords. This is the type of businesses you want to scrape, I've set it to real estate. So what you can do after you have set all these different options to the leads you want to scrape in Apollo, you can basically copy this URL. So control C or command C if you're on Mac, come back over to the uh, to appify.com and you can paste this search URL in here. Once you've done that, as you can see here, there are a total number, number of records required which I've set to 500 because that is actually the minimum. Uh, so the reason I set uh, my script to only be for COOs for now is because I don't want to scrape 500 leads just for testing because that will use like uh, 60 cents of my uh, free usage on Appify. So what I've done is I've set it to only COOs here because that will only get, give me 50 results as you can see here from the next new. So I only scrape 50 when I use this uh, test scrape right here, even though I have the total number of records set to 500. So uh, once you're done with that, you can just click on start and it will uh, run that scrape for you. And I'll be back when that is done. And now my scraper is done. And as you can see, we got 62 results from that search. And as you can see down here, we can actually export those leads. But uh, when I click on export 62 uh, results, you get a couple of options, which you do want to use, because as you can see here from, if you just click on download now, you will get this a sheet, which looks like this or a CSV that looks like this. And as you can see, Apollo.io has way too much data for what is uh, comprehensible to look at. And as you can see here, the uh, leads name is actually not before like uh, column number IL which is really not that um, nice. So what you want to do is you want to select the fields you would like to be, have included. So uh, I would like to have included uh, phone numbers, title, let me see, headline is nice, uh, organization. Uh, you want to have the name and you want to have 
last name, email status, something I want, Twitter URL I want, um, LinkedIn UID could be nice. We want to have the time zone could be nice when you want to send cold emails, uh, let's say. Uh, country is nice. Uh, Facebook URL could be nice. First name is nice. Personal emails we want. City email is obviously super important. So once you're done, you can just click on download. And now we'll get a sheet that looks a lot better than that. So that's how you export leads. But what you can do if you want to use this in an N8N workflow is you can actually click on cross. And then you want to go back to the actor. And in here, you want to click on integrations. And in the integrations, you want to click on use API endpoints. This is something you can use for any scraper in Appify, actually. This is, works the same way. So you can just copy the run actor synchronously and get data set items. Click on copy that, and you will actually have your API token within that URL already uh, set. So you don't need to add that in the NITN workflow. So in a new NITN workflow, you can just click on let me just put myself over to the left. There we go. We can just click on trigger manually. And then we want to add a HTTP request. So you can just search for HTTP. And you want to add the URL that you got from uh, Appify. And I will just uh, skip for a second now, just to not show my API key. Once you pasted your URL, you can just click on send body because we want to send a body. And we want to use JSON, we want to be using JSON. And then we want to head back over to Appify and we want to find the JSON by going back over to the input on the actor. And then finding the JSON, click on that and then just copy all of this JSON, control C and copy that and paste that over to this JSON field right here. And like that, we can just copy it. Uh, by using plain text because that looks a lot nicer. There we go. Did not look nicer. Anyway, we can just click on test step for now. And as you can see, we got the same output we got when we scraped uh, in Appify internally. So what we can do now is we can use a new node and we want to use Google Sheets because I've made a Google Sheet I want my uh, leads to uh, be put into. So we can now select the fields we want to use. First, I need, just need to choose the document I would like to use, Apollo Leads. And I want to use Sheet 1. Uh, and then we want to map each column manually. Yes. And I want to set the name. As you can see here, here is the Google Sheet. We want to set name, email, and website for now. And uh, that's just for sh showcasing. You can obviously set a lot more fields if you would like to do that, like title, etc. So for now, we need to find their name. Uh, as you can see, I, we have name, last name, and first name. I'll just put first name because that is what we typically want to use in a cold email. And for the email, we need to find the email. Let me just see. Here we go. Here is Michelle's email. And in the website, we obviously need to find their uh, website, which will be found. Let me see. There it is. Okay, so now we have the website URL and we just need to enter that correctly. There we go. Now I can click on test step. And as you can see, this now has been the output and we have our leads added to our Google Sheet. There we go. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. That would mean a lot to me and I'll see you in the next video.